friends, welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. I have some fantastic meals for you and a delicious dinner recipe, a great way to make juice at home, lots of good stuff in store for you in today's video. So if you're excited, give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Down in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to everything I shared in today's video, as well as links and discounts to all my other favorite things. My meal planner, make sure you're getting your hands on one of those before they are gone. This is the last order, so when they're gone, they're gone. Also on my nutrition coaching website, you'll find personalized macro and calorie calculation. Let me do your macros, give you your calories so you know where you should fall every day for optimal success. You'll also find one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions in both 30 and 60 minute increments for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help. I'd absolutely love, love, love to talk with you. So definitely check that out down below. Last but not least, you'll find my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. So let's jump into this What I Eat in a Day on WW. Here's this morning's breakfast. I decided to make a deluxe avocado toast. So as you saw, I have one slice of the nature's own butter bread for two smart points. I have 80 grams worth of avocado for four. 56 grams or one serving of that ham is only one smart point and then one egg on top. And then I'm just pairing it with a strawberry, blackberry, blueberry mixture. So this is going to be seven points. So not bad for breakfast. I'm getting in lots of protein, carbs, and healthy fats. It is Imperfect Foods time again. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. I order every two weeks, so what I ordered here will last us a solid two weeks. Let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna keep seeing these Imperfect Food hauls. I get a lot of requests for them. They always rotate in their products, so there's always new things. So definitely let me know down in the comments. But we'll start here with some bell peppers. These are absolutely huge. And what blows my mind is there's nothing imperfect, in my opinion, about these peppers. They look delicious. I also picked up some organic spring mix for salads. We've been on a big salad kick. It must be getting into the spring weather, but we've been loving our salads. I also picked up a big bunch of asparagus. Gosh, this asparagus looks so good. Of course, some berries. I have some organic blackberries. And then I also picked up a pack of organic blueberries. So that's what I have for fruits for the week. Troy requested some chips for that French onion dip that I bought. So these are the Deep River Snacks Rosemary and Olive Oil Chips cooked in olive oil, so nice clean chip option. A repurchase of the Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. These are so good. They have excellent ingredients and they're absolutely delicious. They're a great Reese's dupe. No surprise to anyone, a couple of organic mangoes. I love Imperfect Foods organic mangoes. Troy and I saw these Irish cream cookies and we thought that we would get them from Fancy Pants Baking Company. Nothing artificial in these, non-GMO. So we thought that these would be kind of a nice like little treat to have this next week. I also picked up a cantaloupe. Of course, another loaf of our favorite take and bake garlic bread. We are obsessed with this bread. It is so delicious. This is from the Essential Baking Company. I also ordered two cups of the cultivated blueberry in Vermont maple oatmeal. So these have really good ingredients in them. They're 200 calories per container. I will put the point 
points here on the screen for you, but I thought that this would make a super simple, easy breakfast. I guess I ordered two packs of blackberries. I found another one in my box. Imperfect Foods ground nutmeg. I am out of nutmeg completely. Actually, I haven't had it in forever, and I've been needing it more and more, especially once we get into the fall season, so I picked that up. I have one lone orange in here, and I'm wondering if that was a mistake because I wouldn't have ordered just one orange. In fact, you can't order just one of anything. And all of the has to be kept cold items are here in this nice insulated bag with a big ice pack at the bottom. I picked up some green organic kraut. Now I like sauerkraut, especially on hot dogs. And with the weather getting a little nicer here, we're thinking we might actually barbecue some dogs. So I picked up some really high quality organic sauerkraut. Troy's been eating PB and J's while he's off of work and he was out of jelly. So this strawberry preserves was a really good price in Imperfect Foods. I've tried a few of the flavors of the Olipop. This is the classic root beer. I have not tried this one. It's a soda dupe, but it supports digestive health. It is about 35 calories a can, and I think it would be one smart point. I wouldn't count it, honestly, but I've tried a few of the other flavors, and I love root beer anything, so I'm excited to try this. And everything else in my box is kombucha. So I did, of course, order a couple more of the Better Boots. I've never tried this flavor of the Health Aid kombucha. This is the Bubbly Rosé. So I picked up one of those just so that I could give it a try. And then two of this flavor, Lemon Berry. I've never had this. So I'm really excited for this. You guys know GT's is my very favorite. So I picked up two bottles of the Lemon Berry. So this is my order from Imperfect Foods for the next couple of weeks. You guys know I love Imperfect Foods and they're running a huge promotion right now where they're actually giving you $20 in free groceries instead of 10 with your first order. And there is no minimum order. Just check them out. It's a great way to try new foods and also to help eliminate unwanted food waste. I'm going to have a morning snack. It is about 10 o'clock and I ate breakfast about seven. So I have one of the Autumn Glory apples from Trader Joe's. These are like a caramel cinnamon apple. They're delicious. And then I'm going to warm up one tablespoon of this Wild Friends pumpkin spice peanut butter and drizzle it over the top of my apple. It sounds delicious. And then of course I'm going to have some kombucha. here is my morning snack. So it is three points for the one tablespoon of peanut butter, of course, zero for the apple. And then I'm having the GT's Synergy 25th edition. Technically the bottle is three points. As you guys know, I count kombucha as one point. So this is a four smart point morning snack. Well, hello. I thought that you could come along with me this morning. It's pretty early in the morning. It's about 1030. I just had my morning snack, the peanut butter and apples and my kombucha. And it's time for me to take my supplements for today. Every morning I always take a gummy vitamin from Costco. I already took that, but it's time for me to take my probiotics. I told you guys about this company Thrive several months ago where I sent in a sample. It came back with my gut health results. I was deficient in five beneficial gut bacteria, which are contained in these custom probiotics. So if you suffer with any ailments that could be or are related to your gut, it is important to get your gut health tested. Right now, the test is 50% off, which is an incredible deal. I'll link it down in the description box for you. Once you take the test, get the results back, you can go order your personalized probiotics. So that's exactly what these are. This is my second bottle. So I ordered a three month supply. So I've been taking these for a little over a month and a half because this one is approaching the end. And I take these every single day and I can't tell you the difference in my gut health, my sleep, my weight loss, my skin, everything that I was deficient in has dramatically improved since taking these probiotics. I don't know how long the test will be 50% off. It is right now with the link down below. So take advantage of it while it's half off. You won't be sorry. Really, really a game changer for weight loss and gut health. They're just two soft gel capsules. So very simple to take. And the other supplement that I take every day is the My Adventure to Fit Greens. And this is the banana apple flavor. These are really good. You can add them to water, add them to a smoothie, but I just dry scoop them 
and I'll show you guys how I do that. Just be really careful if you dry scoop to make sure you're drinking enough water so that you don't actually choke on the powder. But this is just a really easy, delicious way to get in your greens. Super affordable. As you know, I do eat a lot of greens, but I like to just supplement with a scoop of this every single day. So again, there's a lot of different ways that you can take your greens, but I do just like to, again, dry scoop those. So how I do that, fill the scoop up, place it under your tongue. Avoir. And that's it. I think it tastes a lot like sour candy. It's very, very easy to take, but if you're not interested in dry scooping, then add it to water, add it to a smoothie. You won't taste it. And actually it tastes good. I don't think it has a lot of the earthy grassy flavor. Again, this is the My Adventure to Fit. I also take their CalMag, which helps you sleep. It's incredible. And their pre-workout. So I'll link My Adventure to Fit. It's a small business. Definitely go support her with 10% off down in the description box for you. I'm making my lunch. You can hear my air fryer in the background, but I wanted to show you where I am on my water. It's noon and I'm at the 3 p.m. mark. I did just fill this glass, so I'll finish that during my lunch, but nailing it on the gallon of water today. So here's my lunch for today. One of my favorite easy lunches is this wrap. So let me show you how I make my wrap. I get a lot of questions on this. So I used one of the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps, but you can use any one point wrap. I spread one wedge of the light laughing cow cheese over the bottom. And then you can see I added a little bit of spring mix and some pickles. And then I cook up six of the Kid Fresh white meat chicken nuggets. You can have six of these for three points. And there's a good amount of protein in these as well. And then I just lay those over the top and then I'll roll it up and cut it in half so it's a traditional wrap. And then I'm also going to have, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. I've been waiting for my order to come in. You guys know how much I love the healthy eating all the time and go bars. These are the cleanest, most delicious bar absolutely incredible. I love the full size bars, but they're six or seven points. And she released minis, 100 calorie bars. This is the peanut. So they come 30 mini bars to a box. So this is what they look like. And they're only three points a piece, less than 10 ingredients, only sweetened with honey, eight grams of protein, absolutely delicious. So it's a great way to get in some nice, clean, healthy food, but also get in a little sweetness because they are a little bit sweet. So I'm going to have that for three points with my lunch. You can order the healthy eating bars down below. I do have a link for 12% off. It is not an affiliate link. It just supports her business. Highly recommend at least get the mini bars if you don't want to spend six or seven points because they're a nice, clean, delicious bar. And I also cooked my nuggets as always in my little copper chef air fryer. This is linked in the description box. I just bought it off of Amazon. So for my lunch, it is one for the wrap, one for the cheese and three for the nuggets. So that is five smart points. And then three for the mini bar makes eight. So this is my eight smart point lunch. Do you need something? Do you need a treat? I think that's what you need. We love these whimsies. They're a nice, clean, grain-free, gluten-free, GMO-free dog treat. They're these nice little chewable sticks, so they last a while. I buy these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. Here's what they look like. They come in a ton of different sizes. I always buy the extra small because you get 48 of them, and it's the perfect size for my dog. So I think this is what the little Missy wants. Is this what you want? Okay. And the big dog. I'm pretty sure he's in bed. Bubba, did you want a treat too? Are you gonna get up today? No? Do you need a treat too? Yeah, you need a shake. Shake for your treat. Shake. Oh, good boy, good boy. I'm so excited to share this juice press with you guys. I talked in a couple of videos back about how I wanted to get a juicer, an at-home juicer. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't want another small appliance in my pantry or on my countertop. So I was so excited when they reached out to send me the DHDH juice press. So thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I wanna show this to you guys and then we're gonna make an afternoon snack of some green juice. So this is the box that it comes in. I actually really like on the box that it gives you the directions on how to use the juicer, it tells you how to use the juice press and this is the really cool part, gives you a couple recipes, apple juice and green juice. You can also find some additional recipes online. It comes with the user manual and then the actual juice press itself which is 
stunning. It has a beautiful gold top. It's a nice deep blue color. And then it also comes with the strainer basket. So I'm gonna show you how to use the juice press. We're gonna make some green juice to go with my afternoon snack. So to make our juice, we need to pick out the fruits or whatever we would like to put in the green juice. So I have three of these very small gala apples left. I'm going to use all three of those. And then I also have quite a few like half quarter bags of frozen kale. I did pull these out of the freezer about a half an hour ago, so they've started to thaw. And then I also have a frozen banana that is also pretty thawed from pulling it out of the freezer. So you are going to have to blend your ingredients first in a blender. I'm going to use the magic bullet. So here is my juice. I ended up only using two of the three apples, but here is the app two apples, kale and a banana. I also added about a half a cup of water and we're going to blend this up. Here's what our juice looks like. It's thick, kind of like a smoothie consistency, but we don't want the chunks of kale or anything in our juice, the apple peel, and that's where our juice press comes in handy. It's going to press out the juice and leave behind all the stuff that we don't want. So I went ahead and removed the lid. I still have the strainer out, and this is the outer tank, and this is the inner tank. It is locked. So what I'm going to do is place about half of my juice mixture into the inner tank. So we're going to add a enough of the juice to not overfill where the strainer is. So you don't want it above the line there of the strainer. You actually receive two of the mesh strainers and then you're just going to push on the top. It'll strain all of the liquid out of what you had blended up. And then you're just going to pull to release and you can see all of the sludge at the bottom of the strainer. Go ahead and leave that there and we're going to add some more of the blended juice mixture and repeat. It's very, very simple. You can see that it's going down and it's pressing out all of the juice. And here's my green juice. So I got a decent amount out of what I blended. Now, if you were to add more ingredients to a larger blender, you could add in things like cucumber or celery as well. You would definitely get a lot more juice, but this is the perfect size and amount for me to try. So let's give it a live taste test. All right, cheers. Wow. It's absolutely delicious and I love that it doesn't have pulp and the thickness. So highly recommend. This is incredible. It is super easy to clean. I just rinsed it out with a little dish soap. I'm going to allow it to sit here on this towel and dry. Super easy to clean, super easy to use. We are partnering for a giveaway. We're actually going to be giving away one of these juice pressers. All you have to do is to enter is make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I will be double checking that. So make sure that you are subscribed and comment down below juicer. And that will let me know that you've reached this part in the video and that you would like to be entered into the drawing. I will do a random comment picker and I will draw the winner on Friday. So make sure that you watch, comment, subscribe, and you know what? Give this video a thumbs up as well to be entered into the drawing. So thank you again for DH, DH Juice Presser for sponsoring this portion of the video as well as giving one of these beauties away to one of you. With my green juice, I'm going to have one of the two good Meyer lemon yogurts, my all-time favorite flavor right here. These are incredible. I have a very bad feeling that they're limited edition just because they're a more summery flavor, but if you can find these, definitely recommend. So delicious. I'm just going to have the yogurt because between that and the juice, I'll be full until dinner. So two smart points, and I do count zero points for the juice because nothing that I added has any points, and I do not count blended or juiced fruit. For dinner tonight, we are making chicken Alfredo bake. Troy was pretty excited when I told him we were having this for dinner tonight. It's a fairly simple recipe, decadent, creamy, delicious. So what you're going to need is some mozzarella. I always use the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella. It's only two points for a quarter of a cup. So it's pretty close to the old light mozzarella that Trader Joe's had. For my pasta, I use fiber gourmet. You guys know if you follow me, this is the only pasta we pretty much ever use in our household. We love it. The taste, the texture, everything about it is so good. But the best part is it's only 100 calories versus 210 calories of traditional pasta. It has 25 grams of fiber versus two. 
25 grams of fiber is what's recommended for a woman daily. So this is your whole day's worth of fiber intake, which is amazing. 17 net carbs versus 41, and it also contains seven grams of protein. So we love Fiber Gourmet, like I said, you can pick this up off of Nutrition. They have the biggest variety and the best price. This is the Linguini. They also have elbows, rotini, penne, all the different shapes. Two points, you guys, for two ounces dry on Weight Watchers versus five or six points for two ounces dry of traditional pasta. So highly recommend. Pick this up off of Nutrition. You will not be sorry. You're also going to need about two ounces of light cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, garlic, onion powder, Italian seasoning, chicken. I'm using these chicken tenderloins. You need about a pound, light butter. First thing we're going to do is get some water coming to a boil and we're going to cook down our fiber gourmet pasta, El Dente. Also in a skillet with some nonstick cooking spray, I added my pound of chicken. Chicken tenders are cooked. I'm just going to dice these up once they cool. The pasta is just about done. Then we'll get our big stock pot going on the stove and everything is made in one pot from here on out. In a large pot, you can see that I've added my light butter, Parmesan cheese, we needed three quarters of a cup, so I only added half of that amount to the stock pot. Some minced garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and onion powder. And then I'm going to add two cups of my low fat milk and we're going to stir this together until that cheese is melted and those flavors have really melded together. Once it is combined, we're going to allow it to come to a slow rolling boil and we're going to let it cook until the sauce is thickened. Once the sauce has thickened up, we're going to add one ounce of cream cheese and then three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. Give this a stir just to make sure that it's mixed together and then we're going to add in and the pasta and the chicken. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. I added the pasta mixture to a 9 by 13 greased baking dish. This is going in the oven 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or really until everything is kind of bubbly. We'll pull it out and then we'll top it for the last couple minutes with the rest of the Parmesan cheese. 4.56 p.m. and my gallon of water is done. So that means with dinner tonight, I'm going to have a sparkling water. All right, chicken Alfredo bake out of the oven. This looks so delicious. I have some organic peas on the stove and we're gonna have peas with our bake. This entire pan only makes six servings. So let me plate it up and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, and here's dinner. I'm so excited for this. It looks incredible and we still have all of that left and some peas. This is such a delicious, decadent dinner. Half of a cup of peas, zero points. So breaking the chicken Alfredo bake down into six servings, it is six smart points on the blue and purple plan and seven on the green plan. And that is using the fiber gourmet pasta. So if you use a different point pasta, you'll want to refigure the points, 287 calories per serving, not counting the peas. That's just for the chicken Alfredo bake. So this is my dinner for six points. For dessert tonight, I'm having a built bar. This is the white chocolate cherry. This is no longer available, the white chocolate bars. We are begging Bill Bar to bring them back. They are so good. It's the perfect, perfect dessert. This one is my favorite because it has big, huge chunks of cherry in it, white chocolate coating. It's only three smart points. Plus you get in a little bit of protein. So I am going to have this for dessert. I will link Bill Bar in the description box with 10% off and free shipping. It's a permanent code, so you can use it over and over and over again. Hopefully they bring back the white chocolate, but they do have some great promotions coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that, but write that code down, keep it, and you can go ahead and head over and order whenever you want for 10% off and free shipping. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my delicious food, that dinner recipe, you have to make it. Who doesn't love chicken Alfredo? And it's very simple and easy and absolutely delicious. All recipes are on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with discounts and links to everything I shared in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things. You'll also find my meal planner, nutrition coaching, with 
with macro and calorie calculation and one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as my Facebook group. So definitely check out that description box. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Head on over, join this community, hit the little subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell next to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you all in my next video.